This is John for John Speed. I'm here at Wizard World. I have one of my favorite authors, Janice Davis. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. You know, I say author, but you're like everything. I, I've, done my, <laughs> I've done my research. You've, you're an equestrian. You've uh, flown airplanes. Well, you have done your research. I, wow. I think really? you've, I, I thought you um, discovered a planet, but I'm not positive <laughs> about that one. That would be amazing. I would really, really enjoy that, uh, that achievement. But, but no, sadly, no. In Star Citizen, maybe, right? I don't know if any of you have heard <laughs> well, of Star Citizen, yeah. but it's this persistent universe where you fly spaceships and you discover planets and you can mine. So in that game, that's my goal, to discover a planet. Oh, I forgot to mention, you're also a gamer and a, and a podcaster and everything else. So. Yes, yes. So I host a podcast called The Gamer's Dominion. Um, it's kind of a play on words from my book, The Holder's Dominion. And uh, Assembly of Geeks asked me to host that podcast for the past few years. And I've actually really enjoyed it because I've been able to interview game developers, game writers, talk about my own writing for video games. I just, uh, I was just part of the release for Omen Sight. It's this awesome, really cool uh, murder mystery action adventure game on PlayStation and Steam. And it was an awesome opportunity because I was able to help create and write all of the main characters' backgrounds and, and you know, um, uh, uh, the way that they came to be where they are presently, and that a lot of their dialogue I was able to be a part of writing and creating that. And so to see uh, the, the map that I helped, you know, uh, draw out sure. and everything on the actual game, it was really surreal. It was a really special experience. Now, yesterday, you told me a little scoop that you had. <laughs> so, uh, just a little bit of, you know, little good news, maybe? Yes, really good news. So let's so, share it. Yeah, okay, okay. So, um, Way back uh, in 2011, I was writing this manuscript, The Holder's Dominion. It's a thriller about a woman going head to head with a hacker. And after Holder's Dominion uh, was published, I was asked to be on a lot of panels about writing a woman lead that is in a you know situation that's not normally um, have the spotlight on a woman with hacking and tech and gaming and such. So uh, it was really cool to have this book be the catalyst to be really what got me hired to write even more novels and I started writing for movie companies and publishers, um, different news sites. So that developed into my brand new news which is I'm writing a sci-fi series for Stan Lee and Benaroy Pictures. So. Wait, I think you need to say that one more time. <laughs> okay. Stan okay. Lee. <laughs> yes, you... the Stan Lee and Benaroy Pictures. It's, it's a really cool, just a, a, a very cool uh, um, they, they kind of describe it as this brand new intellectual property that's like an aquarium, and the aquarium is going to have all this transmedia where there's the novels, there's the graphic novel, there's the TV series, the movie, and everywhere you shine the light in this aquarium is a different part of this world. So it's not like Hunger Games where you read the books, you see the movies, and it's the same story, right? Mm -hmm. You can compare and contrast. With this, it's not the same story, but the same world. So you, you might read about a side character in the novels, and then you might see that side character's, you know, part of a life that you never saw in the movie. So isn't that really cool that how is, you can uh, like, wow. glimpse in this different part of the world? It's like a 365 degree, you can catch it everywhere. Yes, exactly. So That's I'm awesome. super honored well, and excited Congratulations. About it. Thank you so much. That's cool. Is there a timetable on this? You know, you know, you know, I can't promise dates on, on no. record. I can't. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna plead the fifth on that. I don't want to misquote anything. But how about this? Stay tuned to JaniceDavis.com. I will post as soon as I know dates. How about that? Well, you, <laughs> you stole my last question. Where can people oh. find out information? They can go to JaniceDavis.com, which I did. That's where I found out, you know, about the equestrian and all that other stuff. How do you, how do you find time for all that other stuff with everything that you're doing? You know, it's, it is a lot of time management. Uh, um, I, I tease my mom, and I'm like, mom. And my name is so hard to spell. It's so hard to say. It's Janice with a G. And she goes, hey, at least your domain name is always free. And I'm like, oh, mom, you got me. <laughs> Ever uh, the practical one. That's right. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I, I do. I, I carve out time where, you know, I'll, I'll write. I used to be um, not only, like you said, into horses and teaching horseback riding lessons, but I worked at the bank for a long time, worked my way up from teller into management. And so I would, you know, work all day and then carve out time for writing after dinner. And then when I started to get more jobs in writing and was able to make that my full-time job, 
Now it's like, okay, I've got this car. I carve out six hours while I have, you know, a, a nanny watching my three-year-old. And I'm like, okay, I only have this thing. i got to write, 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 write. And then, of course, I spend time with her after I'm done with work. And then, you know, we do dinner. And then after she falls asleep, I go back to work. And I write and write and write or, you know, answer emails or do interviews till 2 a.m. So it's a lot of, you know, just carving out times to make sure you get everything in. So you squeeze in maybe an hour to a sleep, something yeah, like that? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's give a, or take. That's but you don't need any more. You're always up and bouncy and smiling and happy. Thank you. I, uh, I, uh, Tony Kim, um, he created the Hero Within Apparel line, and he says that coffee needs to drink me to wake up in the morning. <laughs> so I, I like, I'm going to steal that tagline. I really like it. I think like he's, it. he's correct with that. Well, Denise, we really appreciate it. We congratulate you. First of all, congratulate Thank you. That's you. an excellent, excellent scoop. And uh, we wish you luck, and we're going to keep following you, and we'll, you know, I'm sure we'll tag and, and uh, you know, find you somewhere down the line. Definitely. Thank you. Yes, I'll be. So I'm here in Chicago this weekend with Wizard World, and then I will be in Tulsa in September with Wizard World. If anybody is near Tulsa watching, please come by and say hi. After that, I'll be in Austin. I'll also be in Philadelphia, Madison. And Madison? Yeah. I already told you I'm going to you know, I'll find you there. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, just um, I'm on Instagram and, and Facebook and Twitter. I fail miserably. At all of them, but I try my best to, well, to post yeah. and keep updated. So, yeah, thank you so much for the support and the enthusiasm. Thank you very much. We'll let you get to your panel. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you.